as we all know that foreign investors invest in assets in various countries such as the US and the US investors invest in assets abroad such as Japan, China, Russia, etc. So this flow of funds between countries has an effect on the exchange rates and the interest rates in that country. The net impact of borrowing and lending between the US and various countries can be measured by calculating the net sources which is the same as the money inflows or the uses money outflows by foreigners. So foreigners would borrow and lend in US dollars and therefore when foreigners borrow it translates to a dollar outflow and when foreigners lend in it amounts to a a dollar inflow so the net fund flow by foreigners equals the sources minus the uses by foreigners and minus the sources minus the uses by us or domestic investors an increase in the net flow by foreigners increases the supply of funds in the us markets thereby causing a shift in the supply curve to the right lowering the interest rate any decrease in net flows by foreigners decreases the supply causing the interest rates to rise now increases in supply or demand for dollar denominated funds by foreigners are caused by factors unlike the ones we have seen for other entities such as households governments and firms international borrowing lending investing compared to domestic borrowing lending and investing is more risky in terms of legal credit and exchange exchange rate risk and needs much more research to obtain information despite many hurdles funds flow between countries with greater speed in today's market this is because funds are seeking higher returns the greater the rewards in the form of roi and lower the risk the higher the flow of funds in that in that market therefore when we analyze foreign flows we need to study two factors the comparative return or yield and the comparative risk so let's look at both these factors 